He is a uh, he's very he's a fox that's very adept on the stage. He really loves the the uh, just the landing traps they can get uh, because of the fact that Fox is so fast on the ground and just. He doesn't get the platform extensions, but he can continue his juggles and advantage shape for so long because he, he's just so adept at it here. Yeah, so but I would imagine Yoshi's kind of a fan of this stage, too. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's why they agreed to it. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, starting off, Squirk trying, to, Squirk trying to take a stock as soon as the gates start, as soon as the gates open with that, with that fair, but... But ZD's see, got a little bit of a lead now. Yeah, a little bit. And here's the chase that we we're talking about. See, he's gonna give him the space though. The thing with Fox in this matchup is that he's gonna be careful. Ha have to be a little careful about how he tries to extend his advantage because Yoshi has the double. Oh! But he he has to be careful. But if he knows when to pull that trigger, then he's gonna be able to create explosive openings. Yeah. Just like that. But yeah, so Yoshi has that double jump armor though, so maybe s some of the like dash attack up airs won't work yeah, as well. Yeah, but you don't do really want to use your double like th if you have to use your double jump against Fox to get down, that's really bad. That is true, especially on FD. Yeah. So actually, this might have been in ZG's favor. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I know he really likes the stage. Ooh. Now so they were kind of even at the no start. No double jump, and he just what? goes for it again. Oh, he does have a double jump. He landed. Okay. So Z is kind of running away with this right now. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it to be this dominant, but yeah, I, I mean, Squirt could turn this around to flash though. Yeah, he's one good hit away from taking the stock, but he's got to find it. This yeah, he's could got be his opportunity. Here. Oh, with both aerials. Oh, you know he had the he had the I think he had the right idea coverage wise. He just didn't have the the spacing or timing. Z before. definitely had a really good angle there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, goes for the hard re option. This could be really dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overextension there. It, he ZD is just picking out these little uh, cracks in his armor right now. And he's doing a really good job recovering. Uh, Squirk is trying to cover everything. Like the, oh. I feel like a lot of times he's trying to cover like the Firefox, and, and uh, ZD is just giving him the illusion. So he's I love that extension from fast. ZD right there. And he didn't get the lock, but he's still got that down air fair. Yeah, and, he's got all, and he gets the laser damage too, that extra chip damage. Looking super clean right now. Very looking poised to take a Mason versus Ooh. Zach Darby. Well, actually, never mind if Wadi has anything to say about it. <laughs> but right now he's looking pretty crisp. But Squirk answering back a little bit because that back air kills now. Yeah, back air <laughs> is a good move now. Ooh. And one thing that's gonna definitely help Squirk in this matchup is uh his ability to his ability to get early stocks oh, off stage against CD. But the problem is, I feel like <gasps> while he can get early stocks, all every time if he wants to get an early stock on uh, ZD early, like off stage, he's gonna have to make like a committal read. Which Squirt's is kind of been getting some reads right now. Uh, I mean, it might be too little, too late, yeah. but going into game two, this might be might be good for him. Ooh. But yeah, ZD's got stage control. Let's see what he does on the ledge right now. Oh, nice. got the egg. Yeah, good you bash. He should be making it back, but nice fair from Squirt. Yeah, he knew exactly where he was going. Made sure that that egg didn't kill. He was dead regardless. All right, big damage coming out from the down air, yeah. up air. And now this could be a little bit dangerous. I mean, Fox, a light character. Yoshi, a very strong character. And a character that doesn't die too easily. Is that going to be it? It is. Back air is one of those moves that's that's almost a little bit deceptive about when it gives you those sparks. A lot of times it feels like that movement specifically, you'll get the sparks, but it won't kill. But that well, time, that time it does get the kill. Yeah, I mean, it was at 155%. Yeah, but he's big Yoshi. Never make that joke again. Yeah. Am I right? Shut <laughs> up. Am I right, fellas? Am I right, guys? Big Yoshi. Big Yoshi. I didn't say B. Huh? Oh, we oh can, yeah, this oh, works. Yeah. All right. All right. We can hear each other perfectly. Hooray. Hey. I can hear that beautiful voice right now. Thank God. <laughs> All right, we're getting in the game, too. I didn't see what stage they picked, but uh, I'm sure it's a good one for Yoshi. Whatever uh, it is. So it's Smashville. Like Smashville. Uh, that yeah. could be helpful. I mean, another platform to land I mean, on. And it's late enough that we have KK Slider out now. I mean, so. I feel like, the, yeah, I definitely feel like this is the counter pick. Uh, Fox on this stage, like, he doesn't do badly on it, but I feel like it doesn't. he doesn't excel on it like he does in some of his other stages. Uh, like, he doesn't excel on it like he would, like, a battlefield or, as we saw, like, a, an FD, but... And Yo but Yoshi gets so much off this platform. Ooh, oh, he's my dead. God! But there wasn't even, even a spike sound or anything. Doesn't even <laughs> need the platform to get that stock. That's what he was looking for a lot last game, but he finally is able to connect it. Starting to get a little bit of a read on where ZD wants to recover. And I that's gotta gonna say, be great for him. This is why I like having tournaments on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, 
I like having KK slide around. It's so nice. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so that uh, ZD's really close to taking the stock right now. He is, uh, but like he's got to find like a really <laughs> big hit, and he just goes just up smash four times. Just, he yeah. literally just up smash like four times throw, like you said. Let's go, Zach. Ooh, oh, he wanted it. That would have been. I'm honestly a little surprised he didn't just go for the fair. But I guess he had to reverse his uh reverse what yeah way no he was the way he was first. the way he was facing he couldn't really go for the fair though. he could have maybe gone for back oh the double jump armor that was a good tech chases not he was definitely cognizant that he was going to get the armor on that time. yeah of course because that nair was almost like a reaction by well, like a plan and whatever <laughs> yeah it was definitely definitely great use great use of the armor right there but ZD is silently Ooh. taking this lead again. Uh, Squirk, but he, Squirk's he, closing the gap. He waits for the uh, he waits for the air dodge, but goes for jab instead of maybe a stronger punish like an up smash. That, that was an interesting mix-up, just barely mashing that egg right there. But it made Squirk wait, yeah. and he didn't get much damage off well, of it, so that was good for DD. But the down B scooping him up. Squirk looks poised to take this uh, look take this game unless ZD gets the stock off soon. Uh, I do like the the not mashing as much on the egg. It's a because when you get out of the egg, you have a little bit of invincibility. So Yoshi's are usually just waiting for you to get out of the egg, so just waiting for you to do something. They're uh, up smash mashing out of the egg. That was calculated. Yeah. <laughs> They're always waiting for you to do something. So if you're mixing up your timing, it'll makes it way harder for them to react because they have to respect your aerial out of the egg. All right, that was a lot of damage that just came out from ZD. Okay, good there. All right, now these. Players just kind of pressing their buttons on each other's shield. <laughs> Who will get the first the, hit? The first nair. It looks like it was Squirk, but... Nice parry. Yeah. But he didn't get that much off of it, actually. Oh, here's... We got another offstage situation. Is uh, this it? Oh, yeah. He, he used was, his double jump a little early, I think. He was just out there for a little bit too long. ZD had... ZD was just able to sneak past him. Okay. But now here's He's another dangerous situation. Oh. Okay, so misses the X Knight, but ZD was going for, like... He either thought he was high enough to just go straight, or he was going for like a super micro angle that he thought would be able to just evade the egg, egg and just put him in a position where he couldn't get edge guarded. I was honestly a little surprised that that, uh, that angle didn't work out for him. Yeah, yeah, he was just probably he was just barely below the line. Barely too low. So we're going to game three. Yeah, game three right now. Squirk is one game away from twenty dollars. And it looks like we're going back to final destination. Um, I mean, we saw how effective it was for ZD game one but of, of course Squirk struck here so obviously he's got he's got something up his sleeve for this stage it's definitely I mean I can see it it's good for like stuffing out approaches with eggs and like you know I don't really know if you can do that that much against Fox considering how fast he is yeah I mean not in the air but like the ground like it's I, I feel like it's a lot better when you with the grounded eggs now and now you have all this space to move that he can't like he can't he, he doesn't have the platforms to catch Yoshi in the air either and also, we were talking about how the juggle situation is like good for Fox in this stage, but the same oh, could be said about the right same now. could be said about Yoshi. Yeah. And right now, it looks like it's working out pretty well for him. I mean, last game we we saw him getting a lot of his kills off the off the stage, so the platform didn't seem like to be that huge of a factor. Yeah. Uh, but now he's kind of in a juggle situation. We got back to the ground safely. Yeah. But the uh, size of the stage definitely seems he's to He's been be doing better. a lot of those full hop eggs, and they, uh, ZD's been having a hard time finding a way in on those. Yeah. Yeah, it just covers his it just covers his approach so well. ZD can put out an aerial to try to beat the egg, but that puts him in a position where he can get punished just like that. Yeah. Oh, nice and air breaking out of that combo. Ooh, the coverage. That's a down tilt. That's a really bad angle. Oh. Yeah, I mean, so... He, that was a really... That yeah, was that was a really great Firefox angle for Firebox because yeah. he wouldn't have been able to get a fair there. Oh, but just nice waits out. out. That's definitely one of the weaknesses of Yoshi is that kind of the, like, how he's just kind of forced to just kind of sit there when he recovers. Yeah. Because it's just, a lot of times his, his jump will just put him in the perfect position right above the ledge where he can just, he's just prone to get smash attacked if you're waiting for it. Can Yoshi just, like, sweet spot the ledge with his double jump? He has to space it. Okay. Ooh, tech chases. All right. Great wait. Has so did he react? Did he react to that? Did he just read the like that he wasn't you know, that he wasn't gonna miss the tech, or did he react? To I don't it? know. Uh, actually, I feel like he's reacting to it because he always he always puts out those jabs. Yeah, like but trying he, to get the lock. Yeah, he didn't. Even. So I guess he just does jab one two, and then if they uh, get the tech, I don't know. He dash no, that's the thing. He didn't go for jab one two as well. I'm wondering. I thought I saw him put it out, but maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just blind. <laughs> All right, so.
Ooh. ZD with a little oh, bit another of a lead one. right here. Great landing catch. If he can get this stock off like really soon, this is not going to look good. And, and he Nair got the stock smash. off really soon. <laughs> yep. Nair up smash the classic fox. That's the classic fox maneuver in this game. Oh, Ooh, that was a really good drift from ZD. Yeah, just fantastic. Getting a there. lot off that dare. Yep. I don't see foxes use dare that often, so it's cool to see ZD get some yeah, luck definitely, off of it. Yeah, definitely not as good as it was in 4, but still def still has its uses. If you get the right hit. Yeah. Ooh, nice parry. Doesn't get, doesn't get too much off of it, but it looks yeah, cool. Yeah, ZD definitely looks like he has the read on Spark right now. Yeah. I don't think this bounty's being claimed quite yet. It's just it's just so hard to get in on him, like without taking any damage. And and once you get caught in the advantage state, oh, you're just forced hit. to expand your options and ZD's just waiting for you. Oh, oh that he, been he, had a, he had a good idea. Ooh. Yeah, and there's the oh back of shield. He had to roll away from that. And that is that gonna do yeah, that's the connection. The Nair and the up smash. That Nair up smash works forever. Man. Yeah, it really does in this game. The way Nair just